talking about the 200 milliwatt 5.8 gigahertz combo transmitter and receiver from foxtechfpv.com um, all of the products shown in this video there will be links for down there so first let's have a look at the transmitter um, on the top it's got one of those just stock antennas it's a 2 dbi omnidirectional antenna um, it runs off a rp sma head up here so if you want to use different antennas and um, then you can get a adapter from foxtech um, the channels on it, it has channels 1 to 8 which are all changeable down here there it is you can um, if you go on the website on the web page it tells you all about it and um, it's also got a built-in microphone built-in microphone right there to send back audio to you and um, the whole system runs off 12 volts so you can just use a basic three cell lipo like this one um, on the top of it we've got a massive heat sink the whole thing's covered in heat shrink which is just quality wise is very good um, the wires that the transmitter comes with is this JST um, power wire that just clips in there note the polarity red is on the left black on the right and we also get this AV cable these three here are for the video and these two are just extra audio channels but I don't use those so I've taped them up and that just clips into there All right receiver looks a bit like this it also has the same head and 2 dbi antenna um, and to change the channels on this one it's all up there on the top there you go it's got two AV inputs which is nice uh, sorry two AV outputs um, so you can have like one to goggles one to a receiver whatever it's got the um, power in there and the little red LED comes on when it's powered up um, it tells you how to change the channels for this one on which would be the back of it but it's got a sticker showing where all the switches should be um, the website also tells you for the transmitter um, it comes with one of these cables this AV cable just plugs in there you can buy another one of these from Foxtech as well and it also comes with a fairly long um, power cable that just plugs into there it does have a JST on it when you get it but I put on an EC3 because that's what I use So if you just watch the video now, you can see that you well, may have seen that I'm going past quite a few trees. Um, basically, that's why the signal gets quite bad at times. I venture out about 150 meters. As you can probably hear here, there's just some interference. And then I walk away from the trees. And the picture just goes as clear as anything. And this is at about, as I say, 150 meters, just a bit over and the signal is solid all the way back and that's more through houses than it was before um, the reason why trees affects it so much is because 5.8 gigahertz doesn't have the best penetration through trees however the system still stands up to it very well